Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Life in the Cash Lane. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, send me a comment, ask a question, and don't forget to join our 90 Day Tax Boss Boot Camp where we're giving you daily tips and tricks on how to start and prepare for the upcoming tax season, okay? Uh, today, I am going to talk about the, the checklist. Um, the steps you need to get started to open up your very own tax practice. I do have my notes here that I'm gonna put in front of my face, that way I don't forget anything. Um, but I get tons of emails, tons of DMs asking how to get started in this industry. And it's a lot easier than you may think. Um, you don't need a math degree. You don't need to have any special math skills. You don't need to uh, be a CPA, uh, there are very few credentials needed depending on the state that you live in, okay? So I put a list together that we're sending out to our tax partners and everyone that has joined our 90 Day Tax Pro Bootcamp. I'll put the link below for you guys to go ahead and get involved. Uh, literally, it's free information. We also have access to lots of resources, uh, tax school partners, bank products, software. So if you need any of those tools to get started, please keep us in mind. i uh, been in the business over a decade and we take pride in assisting and mentoring our new tax professionals coming into the industry. So first things first is commitment. All right, we've talked about that over the last few videos, but you have to commit to the process. You have to want this, okay? We can't want it more than you. It has to be in you and not on you because at the end of the day, you're starting a business and that is not an easy task, okay? Uh, and a recession-proof business is a lot easier than maybe starting any of the other need-based businesses. So I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it is going to take commitment and work ethic from you. Okay. Also, I would suggest starting with a tax course. A comprehensive tax course. Ours is beginner-friendly. There's no prerequisites. Uh, it's um, videos, text. Uh, final exam and there is certificate based. So I think for a beginner, our course is ideal, but whether you take it with us or with whomever your heart desires, take a tax course just to understand what you're getting yourself into, okay? Tax code is, is so long. I don't expect you to learn it all in the first tax year, but our course gives you one year access and allows you to digest that information uh, all year long. You could even uh, buy an extension and there's even uh, an update to the course every single year. So take a tax course to really get an idea, a general idea of what you have to look forward to in joining the tax industry. Uh, secondly, I would suggest that you obtain a PTIN, which is uh, what's required in most states. You register with the Internal Revenue Service, okay, as a paid tax professional. In most cases, that number, that PTIN number is issued instantly. It's about $35.95 uh, for your PTIN, and it's good for an entire year. And in order to get compensation to prepare tax returns, returns in order to be paid, you need to have that PTIN, okay? Uh, next, I would suggest you check your state's requirements because you may live in one of the six or seven states that do require additional CE credits uh, before you are issued your PTIN or are able to prepare tax returns in that state. So always check your state's requirements. That way you understand uh, what you have to do. I live in Texas, so it's only required that we register with the Internal Revenue, but it is your legal responsibility to stay up on tax code, you need to understand what's going on, you know, when you're preparing clients taxes. Um, next, I would do all the business stuff uh, on the back end. We have a great course on taxteak.com, uh, a course that is pretty much getting your business. It's a building a, a solid foundation, which talks about registering your business with the state, uh, uh, your LLC, your EIN, 
uh, all kinds of good stuff that you should know in the beginning when starting any kind of business, but a tax business is one of those businesses that you want to make sure that um, you have that, that good foundation laid as well. Uh, apply for your EFIN, okay? Um, your EFIN is if you want to become an electronic filing originator. So if you plan on preparing 11 or more tax returns, you need to apply for a EFIN, okay? After you apply for your EFIN, that is that takes a little longer. Uh, it takes a few weeks for that to come in, several weeks. You have to get fingerprinted by the internal, by the uh, fingerprinted for the Internal Revenue Service for a background check, a suitability check. And if they see that you're all good, usually no, you know, clean background, uh, um, current on your tax bill, they'll issue that uh, EFIN and, may, and you'll become an ERO. Uh, after you have um, done your EFIN application, you want to locate a software company. We at Refund One are software resellers. We've been working with the same user-friendly software uh, for almost the entire time we've been in business, and I highly suggest using our software. Uh, you can download a free demo on refundonetaxgroup.com. But you want to go through your software company first because they are going to set you up for the very next step. So before you can choose a bank product, you have to have a software company. So choose your professional software uh, and then you want to choose your bank product. OK, I've been with Santa Barbara for years. I highly suggest Santa Barbara, but there are several companies out that you uh, can actually choose. We also have a bank product course in our six figure prep school as well on taxteak.com. And it talks about the bank product, uh, uh, what it is. You can even check out a, a video that I've made about bank products if you want to know exactly what and how a bank product works as well. So, so far, we've enrolled in tax school. We obtained a PTIN. We've checked our state requirements. We have registered our business name and done all of our business uh, fundamentals. We've applied for our EFIN. We've chosen a software, professional software company. I suggest going with a company that does not charge pay per return. That's just my personal suggestion. Um, and now we're going to choose a bank product after you have selected a software company. And in some cases, your software company, they will set you up with a bank product that offers software purchase assistance. So that could be possible for any existing tax pros, pros that have been in the business and have some even volume. That may be an option for you. After that, you're going to want to prepare to open for business. That is everything from supplies, location, deciding if you're going to be brick and mortar, if you're going to work out of your home. Uh, preparing for business is something that I think is, a, is an important step, and you should have all that stuff mapped out by November. You should know if you're going to have a virtual office space, a brick and mortar, a shared office space. You should have all that stuff mapped out, your virtual address, if you don't want people just pulling up at your home. So preparing to open for business is a subject that we'll talk about uh, extensively in our 90-day prep boot camp. But for today, I won't go into it too far, but there are, there are videos on my channel uh, that talk about virtual versus brick and mortar as well. Um, marketing, 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 marketing. Like that is one of the most important steps. We can teach you how to do everything almost overnight. Um, not literally, but you know, very quickly. But if you don't know how to bring clients to the door, if you don't understand marketing, if you don't have a marketing budget, if you don't know how to utilize your free marketing tools, because a lot of times you can utilize social media and market. And I mean market easily, okay, without spending $1. So marketing is key. It's it, it's crucial and you have to be prepared to speak about your business. Go to networking events. Talk to your family, your friends. Don't be ashamed of what you are doing. Be proud of the business that you've started and don't be afraid to put yourself out there. 
My tenth and final thing, uh, reason or uh, uh, item on my checklist is never stop learning. Always be a student. Tax code is very extensive and you're going to learn more and more uh, the longer you're in the business and the more tax returns you prepare. So always be prepared to take courses, um, take your annual refreshers, be understand earned income tax credit and how it's calculated and the tables and know how to prepare forms, Schedule D, E's, uh, Schedule C's. These are all items that we teach about in our tax prep school, but never stop learning, okay? Uh, we start our uh, tax preparation in October. That gives us about 90 days to get fully prepared for tax season, and I encourage you to do the same thing. If you want to join our 90-day tax boot camp, it's just pretty much daily videos and emails of things to do and, and tips on how to get started. We're also doing Zooms and it's a good, uh, something good for you to get involved in if you're an existing tax pro or even if you're just starting out. So that is my tip for the day. Uh, if you need this uh, tax, this, this getting started checklist, click the link below, join our 90-day a boot camp group, and we'll get this sent out to you today. Uh, thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.